Ladies and gentlemen, today we're going to be taking a look at SOLIDWORKS CAM and how to prevent flyaway parts. We're going to be using work holding for tabs and bridges, but you may be thinking, what is a tab? Well, if you're thirsty, it might be something like this. Or if you do a lot of filing, you might be thinking a tab is something like this one. Or if you're into the digital age, you might be able to uh, use a tablet like this. But that's not the tabs we're going to be talking about today. We're actually going to be seeing how tabs can be used to use as work holding for various types of parts. Now, there are certain flavors of tabs. Now, if you do a reduced height tab, it's known as a bridge. We can also see full depth tabs in use in parts like the one at the bottom. Why do we need to use tabs and bridges? First off, it's going to help us keep the part in place. We're also going to see that it helps to prevent damage to our machine tools and spindles. We can also see that the reduction in, in vibration in the component will actually improve our surface finish and boost our tool life. Now how does that help us? Well, it improves our safety, consistency, it can improve, increase part production, and it can also reduce setup time and cost for us by making sure that things aren't flying off of the table, if you will. We can see that it's easy to set up tabs and bridge operations inside of SOLIDWORKS CAM. We can also use many different styles using our max distance or tab number as choices for how many tabs we want in there. In order to get there, we're going to be using existing model geometry. So without further ado, let's get into our setup. I'm opening up a part that I've done a little bit of work in, but I'm going to show you everything you need to know on how to set up these bridges and tabs. In this case, we have several irregular pockets, but we need another one for this long skinny area right here. Now in order to cut that out, we're going to need to insert a 2.5 axis feature for each edge that's included inside that region. By doing so, we're going to end up with a valid profile and be able to use that for our end condition. I do want to make sure that I use and consume all of our stock. That way we're cutting all the way through for the main, main portion of the component. By using this, we can generate an operation plan. Then it will pop out with a, with a contour mill that's ready to go for us. Now, editing the definition of the contour mill will give us the ability to add our tabular cutting options. Now, using this tab cutting option, we can adjust the number of tabs that happen in the region. And if we get a better look here, we can see that right now there's three tabs that are occurring. You can adjust that to the number that you'd like. You could also say that I want a certain distance between them. As you can see, there's multiples there. But if I were to adjust that to maybe four or even five inches in between, we could then see that it reduces that number dramatically. Now, I do believe that I want maybe two and a half inches in between each one, and that gives me a nice setup with uh, enough work holding in, in there. We can go through and adjust the thickness that we would like. So instead of doing a full height tab, I do want to go ahead and make sure that this gets ground down to about half thickness or maybe 50 thousandths or so. Now there are things like long tabs, uh, very long in length, but very thin in uh, the region. It's called a tabular foil. We can do those as well, but in this case, I'm just going to go ahead and continue with a three tabular half thickness. By looking at this, we can see the, the profile has been done. It is going to separate that region, and we can go ahead and simulate that as well. So looking at this, we go, we're going to see that that particular region is getting cut out, and those tabs are remaining for a portion of the design. Now that's a great way to utilize SOLIDWORKS CAM to set up our tabs and bridges in seconds. We can place those directly in our design and we can improve consistency and safety at the machine tool. But what else can SOLIDWORKS CAM do for you? We can do lathe parts, 4 and 5 axis indexing, and even high speed machining with SOLIDWORKS CAM Professional. We also offer training in not only SOLIDWORKS CAM standard but also CAM Professional. And for that special machine out in the shop, just let us know if you need a custom post and we're happy to help.